we have the duty um, as Muslims to really serve and connect and um, provide our skills and services to those in need. I was told I couldn't play football in public um, because um, it exposed me and men were watching and, and so on, um, which is unfortunately a common cultural bar barrier for many women. Um, but that motivated me then to establish a women's only futsal program. Um, the other challenge, the second challenge, I had two to choose from. One, I got, uh, I injured myself playing football and that was probably a career ending injury where uh, I tore my ACL, uh, my knee ligament. And um, usually with those injuries, either you decide never to play again or you have surgery and you suck it up and you move on. Um, it was probably the most excruciating pain I've experienced in my life. I haven't had children yet, so I don't know if I can compare it to that yet. Uh, and um, I was out again in my football for another year. Uh, it was painful, but you know, I did my rehab, I did what the physio had asked me to do and made sure I, um, I followed the protocols. And, and I came back and I've, I'm now playing for Premier League um, Division 2 uh, for the University of New South Wales. So that was great. You know, I, I find just looking around the mountains, the trees, the way um, the world works, the sunrise, the perfection um, of the way the world is all connected uh, is, is truly amazing. Uh, every time someone says the word awesome or awesome, and I just say there is no charge for awesomeness. Always, without fail, that's something that I would do. So, you know, I can provide any time they want my awesomeness free of charge. Yeah. <laughs> See, I told you it's lame. <laughs> no, it's not. It's cute.